everybody, welcome to Hashtag Friday Sews. My name's Carol, this is my channel, Sew Carol. I'm not at home, I'm still away on holiday. Uh, today's Thursday, we're going home tomorrow, but I thought I'd try and catch up with Hashtag Friday Sews and not miss one out. Hashtag Friday Sews, of course, was begun by the wonderful Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room and we are all so grateful for her for creating the most amazing sewing community. Now, I will just, this is going to be very short and I'm going to put some footage in. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all your birthday wishes. I had a brilliant day, the weather was amazing. In fact, the weather has been good the whole week that we've been away. It's been sort of 20 degrees, mm. still got a bit of a north cold wind, but it's been dry every single day. It's been amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for your birthday wishes. I'm going to put in here a video of some birthday presents I had. My sewing related birthday presents were, I've got a USB stick with um, rather embroidery machine designs. Now that's got to go into a laptop and then see the designs from there and transfer it onto another USB stick and into the machine itself. So I might need some help with that, but um, that's gonna be good fun. It's another free resource really for me. This is what I'm quite excited about. It is a sewing machine bag and it couldn't come at a better time because I need to take my sewing machine away with me. It's um, you know, like a water resistant fabric. Got a massive pocket there. Lovely bee design and flowers. Just so pretty. Hubby also got me a stand light. Um, I've got a little one at the moment, um, magnifying light, but um, this one's going to be brilliant. Now I've got a bit more room in my sewing room. I can um, have a nice tall standing lamp. I was very jealous of Trish's when I went to see her sewing room last this year gosh only this year and the last sewing related item I got was some new embroidery scissors which I'm very excited about because I have learned from doing my embroidery that my scissors aren't sharp enough at the tips to cut off the um, threads on the design so I'm very excited to have a brand new pair of scissors I also got a gift voucher to spend to buy some more fabric in one of the best sewing shops in Dorset. So I'm very happy with that. Now, of course, as you will have seen in the title, my thumbnail of my YouTube video, I had an amazing package the day I left from Trish from Pinky's Farm. So I'll put that in here. So it is uh, Friday, the 26th, the day after my birthday. I'm meant to be food shopping and packing, but I've just had this wonderful box come from America. So I need to open this, see what's inside. Oh, I needed my scissors for that. It's from Trish, wonderful Trish from Pinky's Farm. Um, if you don't watch her channel, you need to go over there. She's the most genuine, lovely, bundle of fun lady who lives with a whole host of animals and a husband and a mum. And, um, oh, she's a marvellous. You need to go and check her out. Plus, she's a fantastic sewer. She's given me a lovely card, pop-up unicorn, and it's got some lovely words on the back, which I, I won't share. I'll just keep those between the two of us. But what a friend, eh? Oh my goodness, they're sweet. Look, look, look. Peach rings from Florida. Well, I suppose it's Georgia peach, isn't it? But, oh my God. My, they, they're being packed to go away. <laughs> Paw Patrol clip on. Now, we know who those are going to be for. Look at those, collectible, a clip-on. The boys are gonna love these on their bags. Squishy, they're all squishy. Oh, look, little one for the girly. A little mini for the girly to be. Oh, I might put that in the baby shower box that I've got. This is a lovely lady, this here. 
Sewing is cheaper than therapy. There's a lot to be said in that actually, because it's a, a very much a sort of meditative process, isn't it, sewing? Especially when you're doing this slow sewing as they call it. Um, yeah, really great. Oh my goodness, there's loads of little things in here. Oh, that's, uh, seam fits, uh, that looks like a quick and pick. Oh, we call them a quick and pick. And I've got, what's this? Lovely little things, lipstick pin case. Uh, what are these? They look like multi purpose scissors. They're so cute. And what's this? This, this, this one. Ah, oh, retractable tape measure. Now, it's a cat. Is it a fox? Is it a fox? It's a fox. I'm going to keep that in my handbag because I haven't got one and I've been desperate to have one because I, when I'm going out and about, I we need to measure things, don't we? Perfect. Little foxy. I love that tin. This says Macy's on it. <gasps> wow. Look at these bracelets. Aren't they beautiful? Look, they completely coordinate with what I'm wearing. Isn't that amazing? They are lovely. Thank you so much, Trish. I would keep them on, but I'm just about to do a load of packing, but they are beautiful. This lady, honestly. This lady. What else do we got? Oh, this is <laughs> Happy birthday and some napkins. Now, I know it's my birthday yesterday, but actually we've got a huge chunk of birthday cake that we've got to take away with us. So I'm going to pack those as well because I want my birthday to continue over the weekend. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Da, 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 da. Ah, a US flag tea towel. That's amazing. My son would be really jealous of this, actually. That's great. I could just hang that over my um, oven door and support America. That's amazing. Thank you. Oh, and a notebook. Set of three. Amazing. I always have a notebook in my handbag. I've got quite a big handbag um, because I like to, when I have to sit and wait in the car for the boys to come out of school, then I like to sit and write, plan things. Um, I normally steal the notebooks from hotels. Uh, some of the hotels I go to, they leave a little notebook. So perfect. Thank you very much. Stops me stealing them from the hotel bedrooms. So they are paid for. <laughs> oh, wow. She knows I've got a caravan. That is the cutest little pot holder. That, that's going in the caravan. Oh, that's amazing. She must have been shopping for hours to find all these little things. Thank you so much. Oh, fabric. Oh, look at this. Look at this beautiful piece of jersey with mermaids. My daughter, well, she used to be obsessed by Ariel. She still is obsessed by Ariel, even though she's nearly 30, would have loved something in this. A nice, pretty little um, jersey dress in this. It's going to be adorable. <laughs> Peppa Pig. Now, that's amazing because um, you have got a Peppa Pig in Florida, so I don't know if Trish has ever been there, but uh, we've got one down the road, Peppa Pig World down the road, uh, about half an hour away, but this is Peppa Pig fabric. That is amazing. That's some beautiful cotton. Um, that's gonna be great. I'm gonna, well, actually the littlest uh, grandson still loves Peppa Pig. Um, and then obviously I'm sure the new little one that will like it as well, but that's amazing. <gasps> I've just spotted. Look at this pattern. I just spotted it. It must have been in the middle of the fabric. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You've got a little dress and little knickers. Oh, amazing. Uh, baby, what size is that from newborn to large? Amazing. I've not seen that pattern before. That is so cute. Can you imagine it? I don't know what to say. Thank you so much, Trish. 
go over to Pinky's Farm, watch this lady. She is heart of gold, bundle of fun, um, lots of animals. Uh, there's a, what, what's not to like? She has everything, that lady. Um, heart of gold. Thank you very much, Trish. That is made my birthday. Very generous. I did do a little bit of sewing this week. I made the two things that I really wanted to make. I finished the top, I've got to finish the trousers. I'm not entirely sure about the length yet. But the top I'm really pleased with, and I did New Look 6895. I did version C there, just with the little cap sleeves. It's got a little gathered neckline. Um, you can tell I'm not home, I haven't got any modeling shots. All I've got is a static photo of me. But this is the top here. Look at how wonderful it looks in that blue and white fabric. I am in love with this fabric. Now I've, I've got it made up. I'm, it's just beautiful. Um, it's gonna go really well with um, white crop linens or I've got some white shorts, not with me, so I can't model them. Um, but yeah, it's got that, um, it's got a binding around the neck and it's got the little bit of gathering in the front. I don't know if you can see that. And just the little cap sleeves. Wonderful, really quick make, and I was so thrilled with that. I, I just love it. Now the trousers. The trousers I made using 1069 Simplicity. Now I made, uh, view B. I did make them long in length but I'm really not sure about this at all. I put a tie on them. They are, do come up to the waist. They've got um, an invisible zip and I did a rubbish job on this invisible zip. That's not invisible at all, is it? But the I brought my invisible zip foot, but it didn't really fit very well on the brother machine that I brought with me. Didn't think about that at all. Um, I couldn't get the needle in line directly, so I couldn't get as close as I wanted to. I'm not too worried. I'm really not too worried. Um, so it's got some pleats on the front. It is high-waisted, and I put the belt loops in and made a belt. Now, I would ideally, they're very wide-legged. At the moment, they touch the floor. Now, my daughter, as she's with me, said, I like them like that. Leave them, just put a little hem on them and leave them long. You always have crop trousers. These are trendy, go a little bit different and keep the length. But I'm not sure. I haven't had them yet. I wanna have, I wanna go home, have a good look at them, try them out with some, some clothes. Um, the picture, I'm modeling them with the top tucked in to make it look like a faux jumpsuit. But I am, I'm really not sure. I'd love your opinions because my ideal is to make them cropped, but she says leave them. I need to go home and sort them out. <laughs> so I did get those two things done and I'm really pleased I managed to just get ahead of something because I need them for uh, a week's time when we go away again. <laughs> I did do some knitting this week and I'm really crossed at myself. I, I, did a little, oh, I wanted to make a little cardigan pattern and I made it when my son was a baby. I don't know what's wrong with me now. I don't seem to be able to concentrate properly to do the pattern. So I've got four rows of pattern. Two of those are plain, so it's only basically two rows I've got to think about. And it's fine doing it until I have to reduce one side and reduce the other. Now, I used to be able to just memorise these patterns and never look. I'm finding myself having to look at every single line now. And when it's reducing it, I'm getting all in a pickle. And I think I've knitted, unpicked, knitted, unpicked so many times. So I didn't finish it and I really wanted to finish it for this weekend, but it's not done. And I am cross with myself, but I'm just that bit older now, I suppose. <laughs> I can't remember quite as much as I used to. Two things I'll say before I go is I apologise for delay in replying to some comments on my channel. The problem I had is we got very little signal as we are in the middle of some uh, a forest, loads of trees around, and they have Wi-Fi, but they've restricted the Wi-Fi that you can't see any YouTube comments and you certainly can't reply. You can't comment on any videos. So 
that's been a bit of an issue is because I like to keep on top of it. So whenever I have had the tiniest little bit of signal, I've been trying to reply to comments. So I do apologise about that. What's coming up this weekend? We have such a busy weekend. I'm coming home Friday. Saturday, I'm driving over to Kent with my daughter as we're going to the baby shower. Very excited about that. Um, so gonna see my daughter-in-law. Um, not my son, sadly, because he is in Germany at the moment. But uh, so that's Saturday and then Sunday morning we come back and I have to go drive an hour the other side, drive home then an hour further into um, the country, south of the country because it's my brother's 60th birthday and he's having a bit of a party, a little, just a family party. So I've got to go to that as well. So um, come next week, I'm going to be shattered. So that's been my week. Um, not much to say. I hope you enjoyed the haul from Pinky's Farm. That was just amazing. Of course, the photos I will leave you with will be of just a few of the week that we've had here in uh, Centre Park's Longleat. Bye for now.